Project X Cloud is now available for Chromebook. Well, not the way that you think. So Microsoft, who owns Xbox, made a game streaming service like NVIDIA GeForce Now, but they have temporarily stopped working on it. So there's not a uh, Project X Cloud app in the app in the uh, Google Play Store, but there is a app in the Google Play Store that you that has the same features and is made by Microsoft. And the name of that app is Xbox Game Pass. Now, if you do want to use this, you will need the um, Xbox Game Pass, or you will need the um, the Game Pass Ultimate. And but that's pretty much it. You just need an account that has the Game Pass. So before we start, please subscribe and turn on the notifications so you'll know whenever I make videos. And if you do end up enjoying this video, please drop me a like. And also, I will put like just about. A paragraph in the description on what Project X Cloud is. So if you want to go ahead and stop the video or pause it and go into the description and read that, you can. And also, I will leave a link to the trailer for Project X Cloud in the description too. So now let's go ahead and move on to the video. Okay guys, so let's go ahead and start. So just make sure that you have a little bit of space just to download the Xbox Game Pass app. So now all you gotta do to download it is just go to Google Play Store and search up Xbox Game Pass and you will see it right here. And like I said in the intro, this is for Android, iOS, and, um, and Chromebook. So I'm not sure if it's for Windows 10. If there's an Xbox Game Pass app on Windows 10, then uh, I'm pretty sure it might support the uh, cloud gaming. So just go ahead and open it. It might take a minute because it's trying to load everything. And once it starts, you should see a screen like this. So once you get to this screen, it should take about a few seconds and then it will load in and then boom. So just go ahead and get and get a uh, Xbox account and then go ahead and buy the Game Pass Ultimate. It's only a dollar for new accounts. So just go ahead and download the uh, or not download it, buy the Xbox Game Pass. And once you get in there, it'll tell you when it expires right there. You know, it'll have the account and things you can claim. So that is the good thing about this. There's a lot of perks you can claim for PUBG, World of Tanks, Dead by Daylight, PUBG, or I already did PUBG. Um, World of Warships, Forza Horizon 4, Overcooked, a lot of games, but that's not what we're here for. We're here for the cloud gaming. So just go to your home tab and you should start at console and you'll just see apps like this. So if you connect your Xbox to your uh, Xbox Game Pass app, then you will have the console screen and you cannot play any games um, through the console screen on this app. You will actually have to go to cloud because if you go to any of these apps, like let's say, um, let's say Minecraft. If you press on Minecraft, it will say install to, and once you uh, press install to, then it should put a list up. Yeah. For Xbox system OS. That's because it's trying to download it to your Xbox. You cannot play any of these games. So once you install it to your Xbox, then you still won't be able to play it um, on your device. You'll actually be able to play it on your Xbox. So if you want to play um, games actually through this app, you will have to go to cloud game or just cloud. And once you go to cloud, then it will be a list of games, over a hundred games. And if you want a little bit more detail about what Project X Cloud is, remember go in the description. I will leave a link to it. So you guys see all of these games. If you, you can just go down to all games, show all, and it will just give a big list of all the games. And I'm not I might not be able to run any of these games, but I will just show you the screen that it um, shows whenever you're about to play the game. So let's say I play Fallout 76 and also before I go ahead and start playing this game, I do want to tell you guys that the all of these apps have little to, uh, to no lag, and that's actually good, but this is the thing you do need to know. 
when you are doing this cloud gaming, if somebody else is playing on the Xbox on that account, you're not allowed to play any of these games. I don't know how that works, but yeah. Um, if somebody else wants to play any of those any of these games, like the Xbox Game Pass and games that they download on the Xbox, you will not um well, you might want to wait till they get done because you cannot uh like if I'm playing grounded and you have grounded on your Xbox, it won't work if two people are playing it, one on the Xbox and one on this app, because you are for for some reason playing the same game when you can just play it to player. So that's pretty much all I want to tell you. So now let's go ahead and press play. And once you press play, a screen like this should come up. So I actually love this loading screen and you'll just wait a little bit and you do want to make sure that you have your controller next to you. So I don't have my controller next to me, but I will show you how to um, add it. So all you gotta do is go down here to your taskbar and press this, uh, the one, any of these buttons down here and then go to Bluetooth. Find your Xbox controller and then just go ahead and connect to it. Now, I'm not going to connect to it because I'm not using it right now, but just go ahead and connect to it. And then once you get in the game, it should work. And before I end off this video, I do want to tell you that if you go to play with touch, you can play all of these games with like your screen. So if you have one of those Chromebooks where it's touch screen, you can like actually play these like a tablet or, pl or play all these games like your uh, Chromebook is a tablet or you can play it on your iPhone or Android phone. So now let's go ahead and move on to the outro. That is it for today. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video, please subscribe and turn on notifications to make a lot of good videos like this. And if you did end up enjoying this video, please drop me a like. And if we get to 10 likes on this video, I'll make a part two probably with another new cloud gaming app. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.